I want to just chime in on this Kanye West and D.L. Hughley drama that's on social media. As always, I agree with Kanye West. I support Kanye West in this drama. Now, I want you guys to listen to what Kanye West have to say, and then I'm going to, you know, comment on um, not only what he said in this video, but also the comments that D.L. Hughley made when he referred to Kanye West as a stalker. And he's always attacking Kanye West, saying that he have to take his medicine. But listen to what Kanye West have to say. Hey, everybody, I just got off the phone with Kim. I told her to stop antagonizing me with this TikTok thing. I said it's never again. I am her father. I know y'all don't respect fathers and the idea of family and media tries to promote something. I said I'm not allowing my daughter to be used by TikTok, to be used by Disney. Uh... What's wrong with what he said? He don't want his daughter to be used by TikTok and he does not want his daughter to be used by Disney. Now, I want to also read something, too, that Kanye West said. And many people did not really pay attention to the small bit of paragraph. Everybody uh, focused in on him not wanting his daughter on TikTok. Him stalking Kanye West, I mean, him stalking Kim Kardashian, um, or the beef between him and D.L. Hughley. Kanye West says, I told y'all before about this TikTok stuff. Now my eight year old is on here singing. She fell in love with an emo girl. That right there is the problem. Now my eight-year-old on here singing, she fell in love with an emo girl. And then he says, leftists don't want fathers to have no say in our children's lives. I don't want my kids at Godless Sierra Canyon School. I got a voice and I'm not having this. Now, it's mind blowing to me that so many so-called black males are comfortable with men having no rights. They've learned to accept the fact that the system give men no rights to their children. But females have all the rights. If they choose not to be mothers, they can just either abort their children or drop their children off at a fire station, at a police station, hospital, wherever. They have that option. Men don't have that option. Pay the money and move on. They care less if you have anything to do with your child. Just pay the money. Pay that woman some money. And until men stop being so complacent, until men start fighting the system back, like the women did, like the gays did, and like these immigrants do. Until men stop accepting it and fight back and get these laws changed, things are going to remain the same. So in my opinion, though, I've never really cared too much for D.L. Hughley. To me, D.L. Hughley is a devil. He's a devil. And everything is not a joke. D.L. Hughley responded with a joke, and he's always attacking Kanye West's mental status. He's always saying that he needs to take his medication. See, I teach my sons coming up not, not to have an opinion. Let me take that back. You can have an opinion, but all opinions are not to be spoken. I repeat that. All opinions are not to be spoken. So if I'm hearing a conversation between one of my sons and one of their friends and their friends are, 
they have an opinion on someone else. And you know how kids, they gossip. They talk about other kids, which can lead to, I heard you said this about me. What's this I heard you saying about me? Say it now to my face. And one thing leads to another. I always taught my sons not to get caught up into that. Although they may have their own opinions, keep that opinion to yourself because a lot of times when you feel at ease talking to someone about someone, you really don't know who that person you're talking to is. That could be an enemy to you. That person that you feel confident in sharing information with could be a better friend to the other person that you're talking to and they're going to carry that information back. One thing leads to another. A dog that bring a bone will carry a bone. I repeat that. A dog that will bring a bone will carry a bone. Now, I really don't think Kanye have a problem with his daughter being on TikTok. I do, however believe that Kanye have a have a problem with TikTok and Disney using his daughter to promote an agenda. Again, he says, now my eight-year-old is on here singing. She fell in love with an emo girl. That gay agenda. Kanye have a problem with the gay agenda. Now, I saw someone post a meme and it was edited and it had Kanye kissing a dude and the person says, Kanye, what's up with this? So you have some people in the gay community that caught on to what Kanye was saying. Not many people caught on to that. But some did. And they started making these gay memes with Kanye kissing a dude because Kanye had an issue with his eight-year-old singing she fell in love with an emo girl. So Kanye is absolutely correct. D.L. Hughley should have kept his opinion to himself and it's an it's a old interview that he did with Vlad but again When you do an interview with Vlad, you have to be mindful of the questions that Vlad asks. In many cases, Vlad be setting people up, man, because he'll ask you a question. You feel comfortable with Vlad, Vlad, and then you will start spilling your guts. And next thing you know, somebody's confronting you. Stay out of other people's business. Yes, Kanye, Kim Kardashian, they put their stuff on social media. For everyone to see, everyone to have an opinion. But when you become an adult, you put away childish things. And that's not just for Kanye and Kim, but that's also for the adults that's gossiping or carrying this information. There's certain things you just don't say, especially men. When a man is dealing with Uh, custody issues or battles or family court issues, you stay out of that, man. You may have an opinion, but every opinion is not to be spoken. Silence is golden. Sometimes it's just best to remain silent. Don't give your opinion on it. Although you may have one, it's your right to have an opinion, but every opinion is not to be spoken. So Kanye does not want his daughter singing lesbian songs. She's in love with an emo girl. So, again, Kanye is absolutely correct. I agree with him. I support him. And Kanye is not crazy. Kanye is thinking more logical. He's thinking with more sense than a lot of people that that's not on medication, that don't allegedly have a mental health issue. That's that man's business. And he's going through what a lot of men go through on a daily. But it's just unfortunate that 
so many men have just learned to accept it. They've learned to accept not having any rights to their children. So I support Kanye West. D.L. Hughley is a devil. And he's going to have his opinion because he's a he's a washed up comedian. He's an unfunny comedian. And he responded with a joke. Everything is not a joke. And Kanye is not playing. It's not a matter of being afraid of Kanye. See, there's a lot of people I'm not afraid of. I'm not afraid of too many people. But I know that I'm not um, untouchable. Okay, as a human being, no one is untouchable. So it's just not wise to speak on another man's business in the way that D.L. Hughley spoke on Kanye West business. All opinions are not to be spoken. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe. Click on the cash app, the chime, the Venmo, support this channel. Till next time, I'm fearless.